Welcome to myprojectpazar.com The project title is SMS Based Remote Server Monitoring System. So, the abstract of our process is for organization with huge data center having a lot of servers hosting numerous applications. So it is always a major problem to monitor if each of the server is up and functional or the time. So it is becomes very important for the organizations to know if the server is down or non-functional and also take corrective action immediately. Unfortunately, for some less than critical applications, it is usually the client who informs that there is a problem with the server when he or she tries to log on to the application. Organizations would be very interested in knowing about the server, uh, for example, server failures immediately and also take the corrective option before the client starts complaining. So from this project, administrator find the failure server immediately and also take the correction action. The flow diagram of our process is the SMS based remote server manager system. First, the admin and the both are have first of the person authenticating the process to enter the page. So the admin can, can contain four process, first one is organization, employee, service and notification process. The employee contain the only one process to view and update and delete the details. Okay. In the organization, the admin can add the organization details and also provide the organization ID. An employee also gives all the details of the, where the employees who work in our organization. And it contains the server details and a notification in, uh, such as the SMS details. So these are all containing admin process. The employee, the employee can just view the particular details and also update the details which show and also delete the unimportant details. So it is the overall process. Okay. The title is SMS based remote server monitoring. This is home page of our process. First I have click the admin. This move to the admin login page. So username is admin and the password is small return admin. Admin with the small letters is just login. So I have the admin process, organized details, employee details, server details and notification details. First I click the organization details. Okay. I give the organization ID. Contact it was active. Sorry, moving. Let's take you add. So details we have, you can just click view and you can see the details you have. ID is put in, now organize ID is 0 over G10, organize MLZ, address, contact and status. If you can find the ID, I give 14 and just click search, yeah, that organization, LZM and uh, contact and it was active on it. Now I can edit it, for example, give I just edit it. Yeah, now I click view. Yeah, it changes the LCM pro. Organize it. 
Now I go to the employee process. In the employee process, I just use the automation pen. Washi, washi. So you then making AMP. Fifty two. Give AMP fifty. Okay, I'm first name. Vidya. And last one. So mobile number. And the email number. gmail.com and I give the addresses I give password as 1, 2, 3 just add it ok now you also can view uh, employee 50 then Vidya Shri and that password you can search this thing id is system one six, I just click search. Yeah, this will show. You can edit it also. Next, I go to the server. So, our organization ID is OOG10 and the user that is employee ID. So, employee ID is EMP 5015. So, SEM server, I give that same 50. Server name, server name, PC um, 15, IP address is 192.168.0.89. Server room name is Mobile. So I just give the field and reason is connection issue. So just add it. I just click me. Yeah, M five zero fifty, server fifteen, organization ten and PC fifteen. That it is the status pane and connection issue. For example, I click the enter ID twenty. Just search it. Yeah, you can edit on it. You can change and also click edit. It will be changed. Next, I go to the final one. It is the notification ID. First, I go to enter the ID. For example, first I go to view the fail server. First, I click view fail server. First, I click find which server is failed. So, fail the inactive fail fail. So, I just give ID 20. That is, ID is 20. Okay, notification ID. I just give notification fifteen and date I will complete date under which one which specialist I pay claim. So now we go to I click send message. So I click the send message. Yeah, that's nice. So the SMS is sent to the particular employee. For example, that is employee 50 means and that person with the history, that mobile number, this notification sent to that person. So we notification. So this is the yeah, it was sent. M20, server 15, server 15, PC 15. And it was connection issue. The details are sent to that employee. Now I am going to the employee page. For example, employee equal to EMP 
ఫైవ్ జీరో వన్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ పాస్వర్డ్ ఇస్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఐ జస్ట్ లాగిన్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఐ వ్యూ ఎం ఫిఫ్టీ ఐ హ్యావ్ ద నోటిఫికేషన్ నవ్ ఐ క్లిక్ ఐడి ఈస్ ట్వంటీ వన్ సై ఇంటర్ ట్వంటీ వన్ అండ్ సర్చ్ ఇట్ ఆటోమేటిక్లీ విజిబుల్ అండ్ యూ క్యాన్ డిలీట్ ది రిజల్ట్ కెన్ ఎడిట్ ఆల్సో సో దిస్ ఈస్ అవర్ ప్రాసెస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ